We did something that's great. I'm happy, fuck about that. There was a message of hope inside this like super fuzz bass. It seemed like more than just bands, you know, putting out records, it was like a movement. You know, we all just sort of fell in love with making music together and making tapes for each other. Everybody you ran into was passionately building, sculpting, recording. We got an organ with one note that works and a banjo with two strings. What else do you need? We were like, come freaks, one and all. <laughs> They're weirdos and I love them. This bunch of transient oddballs. It was really just chaos. Everybody appeared on everybody's record. It's like, oh, we need viola, we need a trumpet. Ooh. It's kind of like loading a cannon. And when you fire the cannonball, it's out of your control. We call in sick to work, take a bunch of downers, and play our spacey music. <laughs> I remember it feeling very mysterious to me. It wasn't easy to hunt down information about who these people were. The idea that what we were doing would find an audience was pretty improbable. There was a school of thought that ran the 90s, and they ended it. Your curiosity will certainly be satisfied. <laughs> <laughs>